Well, imagine having your mailbox broken into several times and then getting a letter from your homeowners association threatening a fine for having a broken mailbox. Neighbors in Charlotte South Park area say that this is happening to them and they are fed up. They want the HOA to pay for the repairs. Tonight, Jane Monreal is asking where's the money and she's also getting to the bottom of who is responsible and will ultimately have to pay. My mailbox was completely destroyed and a couple others, the outgoing mailbox, to the point where I can't get mail in it right now. The mailman actually delivers the mail to my door. Ariel Rowell has been living at Chalcombe Court condominiums in the South Park neighborhood for three years. It's kind of a hard situation right now. You know, you move to this area where you're hoping that it's a safe neighborhood. I have a daughter, you know, she goes to school in the area. And now, you know, I'm nervous to go out at certain hours. It's like dark at night and they're not doing much about it. She says thieves have been breaking into their community cluster mailboxes almost every night since June, stealing mail and leaving the busted mailboxes behind. Yeah, I've had hundreds and hundreds of dollars of stuff stolen so far. So she called the police and they said, oh, no, this is very common in you know the South Park area. We can't put cameras over here because we don't want our property to get stolen. Then she went to the homeowners association asking for a fix, but they told her it wasn't their responsibility. They told her to contact the post office. And in the meantime, I got a letter from the HOA a violation letter saying I need to fix my mailbox in the lock because it's encouraging theft or else the next time it's going to be a fine. WCNC Charlotte obtained a copy of the violation notice, which cites Article 7, Section 2 of the community rules, reading, unit owners shall maintain, repair, and replace all portions of their units. The letter goes on to say, this is homeowner responsibility, and failure to reconcile these items may result in the levying of fines for each day the violation is not resolved. There can be a wide range of administrative responses from the homeowners association, including but not limited to fines, uh, liens against the property, or even foreclosure. Ryan Mumper is an attorney specializing in landlord-tenant law. We combed through the community rules, but we couldn't find any language specifically addressing who's responsible for the shared mailboxes. In my opinion, unless your specific rules and regulations and your homeowners association speak to responsibility uh, for the maintenance of a common or cluster mailbox, it will become the responsibility of a homeowner's association. WCNC Charlotte also reached out to the United States Postal Service, which replied saying, it is the responsibility of the property owner, property management company, or homeowner's association to install, maintain, and repair the cluster box units. I've lived in apartment complexes before where, you know, it's that beautiful locker system. You have to input a code and the locker will pop open. You know, they're super secure. You know, it's just crazy that people that own these condos you know, they're having issues with their own mail. For the past two weeks, we've been calling and emailing the Chalcombe Court Homeowners Association and its representative, Cedar Management Group. We've been trying to get their side of the story, but we still have not heard back. In studio, Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte.